Hey y'all, today we're gonna learn how to do a simple border on a double crochet project. To start, mark the last stitch of each row in all four corners. This is going to be the future corner stitch of your border. Once you start making your border, you're going to be working multiple stitches into each of these stitches. To make the base round of your border, start by inserting your hook into the stitch next to one of your stitch markers and slip stitching. Then you're going to single crochet into that same stitch. Single crochet into each of the next stitches until you reach your stitch marker. Once you reach your stitch marker, work three single crochets into that stitch. You might have to take out your stitch marker to do this. I tried to leave it in for demonstration purposes. And this is what it will look like. This cluster of stitches is going to help your border turn to the next side of your project. Now turn your work to the side and you're going to work about two single crochets per each double crochet. You'll be working these around the double crochet stitch. It's a little hard to see because we have an attached chain here. It'll be a little easier to see on this next stitch. So single crochet once around and single crochet again. Now this could vary a little bit depending on the crocheter and the height of your double crochets. I've always found that two single crochets worked around the side of my double crochets has worked best. Continue to single crochet down the side of your project until you reach the next stitch marker. And this is what your project will look like so far. And just like with the last stitch marker, you're going to work three single crochets. Now where I'm working is actually my base chain, so it could be a little more snug here, and it's definitely easier to take out the stitch marker. And then just continue to work single crochets all across. And again, once we reach our stitch marker, we're going to work three single crochets into that stitch. And remove our stitch marker. And then just continue working two single crochets per each double crochet. All right, and we're at our last stitch marker. Now this is a little snug because I'm actually working into the top of a chain three double crochet. So it's gonna be easier to take out the stitch marker here, but that's one single crochet, two single crochet, and three single crochet. Now I'm going to join the end to the beginning round with a slip stitch. I'll cut my yarn and weave in the ends. And you can see what the base round looks like so far. And in the corner, you can see we have the three single crochets, one, two, three. I'm gonna mark the second of those three, so I know that is actually my corner stitch. For the next round, I'm going to attach my yarn in any of the stitches and chain three. This is going to function as a double crochet. And then I'm going to double crochet around until I get to my next stitch marker.
You can see I've reached my stitch marker, also known as the corner stitch here, and I'm gonna remove this now because it's a little easier to work without it. And now I'm going to work five double crochets into the corner stitch. You work five double crochets into a corner stitch because that's how many it takes to turn the corner. Single crochets only require three. There you go, that's what five looks like. And now we're just going to continue around. By doing a base round, I don't have to worry about working into the side or the raw edge of my double crochets and it makes things much, much easier. And you'll do this all the way around. I'm not gonna complete the double crochet border because it's essentially the same. Work five double crochets into each corner stitch and then just join the beginning to the end with a slip stitch. It's really easy, I love it.